Hey guys, good morning. Oh, my shutter didn't look close. Ugh, starting the day off right. I got my way in. It is like 9.20. I got my way in. I'm so excited. So excited. I, at some point today, I'm going to film a weight loss Monday. I've changed it. <laughs> weight loss Monday. At some point, I may go back to Wednesday. I don't know if I will or not. But weight loss Monday on my beauty channel. So I will link it down below. I'm looking crazy. I know. I will link it down below. And I'm so excited. Obviously, you can tell I lost weight. Um, how much, I'll leave it up to that video because I am so excited. I just can't even, can't even express how excited I am. So today, like I was mentioning yesterday, I have a few things to do. I'm the rest one to go drop off Maddie at school. Emmy's been at school for like an hour and two hours almost. Autumn, we're about to clean up Autumn's toys and straighten up the living room a little bit. And then I'm going to go take a shower and get busy with my day. For breakfast today, I decided to do something different. I know you guys enjoy seeing like some of the things that we're eating. I kind of want to go back to not necessarily just what's for dinner videos, but every now and then show what I eat in a day. And I don't even want to say like what I'm eating on keto because again, you guys saw like I had an apple this morning. That is not keto friendly. That whole apple that I had is more, hey, excuse you, was not necessary to throw it at mommy. That was not nice. Say sorry, mommy. <laughs> God, I don't even remember what I was saying. You made mommy lose my train of thought. Oh, about the apple. No, I mean, somebody who's following strict keto would never eat an apple that is, I think it was like 27 grams of carbs or something. So, there's that, I don't know if it was net carbs or what. I'm learning so much every single day, but I am just so happy with my first week's progress. I feel like all of it was worth it for sure. So I was thinking when I filmed this morning's breakfast and I, I was like, you know what? I plan on filming meals sporadically throughout the week and kind of uploading like a combination of what I'm eating throughout the week, maybe to give recipe or dinner ideas. I'll still include them in the vlogs, but that way, if you're looking to follow any type of like low carb diet or whatever, you have a video to actually go to that makes like an actual impact. <laughs> so when you watch it, if it's three or four minutes long, you have nothing but meal ideas instead of watching a 20 or 30 minute vlog and having to just pause on the few times I show meals. Does that make sense? So you have like an area to go into so anyway I tried to braid my hair yesterday because I had let it dry naturally Saturday and it was a mess when I went to work yesterday so then last night I was like let me braid it and I'll just rewash it in the morning and I hate washing my hair every two days I hate it I really would prefer washing my hair every three days because otherwise I feel like it gets greasy way too quick because then it needs to be washed every two days and I don't want that. I actually wish it only needed to be washed like once a week, but that's not realistic. Well, I guess it is for some people, but for my hair being curly, it's just not realistic. If my hair were sh naturally straight or just wavy, I think I could go longer. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Very temperamental child here. Hi, huh, Mama. She's mad the book won't play. You don't have to scream, ask for help. Oh, and <laughs> I was reading through comments. Oh my gosh, I had to laugh on the vlog from yesterday. So the not the one right before this, but the one before that, where I showed that Hello Kitty shirt. I freaking didn't even notice that the stupid thing said cutter instead of cuter. I knew what he was trying to write, so I read it how he, how he was telling me it. And I didn't even notice it said cutter. Oh my gosh. So I guess I won't be wearing that one. Put the baby. Good girl. What else did you throw out that you can go get? Adam, wait. Get your toy. What? <laughs> go get your toy, mama. And put it back in the playpen. Come on. Go get the toy. Adam. Oh, hey. Yeah. 
Adam, there she goes with the baby. <laughs> I just told Andres about the shirt and he was like, what? I never even caught that. I'm like, I know. Me either. Now we can't find it. We have no idea where it is. So. Yeah, there we go with the baby. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, I'm at Walmart. I went to go pick up some coupons. And these are ones that I didn't get in the papers that were laying in the street in my neighborhood. Those were the smart source. So I went to go pick up Red Plum. I got a cave, or not a cave, a bundle for like $15. And I'm about to go ham on all the things that I need in my stockpile. Like right now, Walmart has, I got this idea from couponing with Tony Snuggle. This is $1.84. You buy two of them, there's a $3 off coupon. So you're paying like pennies, 34 cents each for these, which is crazy. And there's 46 of them in there. So I'm going to clip my coupon. And I only found four boxes though. But I'm at Walmart to get a protein drink because I left one at home. And I'm too far from home. I don't want to worry about it. So I'm going to pick up a protein drink and then. Head to um, CVS to finish up my couponing. But this is the coupon right here. We save three dollars on two snuggle products, and it's in this red plum. In case you live in the states and you get coupons. I spy new shirts at Walmart, guys. Twelve ninety four. And which one do you think I like the best? <laughs> I already picked one up and looked at it, but they have black polka dot. I kind of think I want this one. I don't know. It looks like that chiffon material, so I don't know. I don't know if uh, that'll work or not. It's really pretty. I kind of want to get it. I think I may. But I wanted to tell you guys about these leggings I have on right here. I want to see if I can find them. Oh look, they still have the plaid shirts. These are definitely new though. My mom got these leggings for my aunt for Christmas and she doesn't like them at all because they're too tight. Like they hug you. I wonder if these are suede. Is that suede? Suede? Suede leggings. Are these it? No. These are not the same ones I have on. Uh, let's see. These flea, they're fleeced leggings. That's what they feel like. I don't see any more black ones though. But they, oh, it's, it was this one. Yeah, because I, my mom got this pair also. I wonder how much they are. I just want the black though, the black. They're, I have them on right now, they are seriously so comfortable. They're thick. You don't see anything through them. They're perfect. That's a cool pattern. Huh. Look at this really cute teacher stuff. This is super cute. This actually would be good for like a school room or something at home. This holds a gift card. That is so cute. Okay, just left Walmart. Ended up picking up a Quest Bar. This has, I don't even know how many carbs, but it has five net carbs. I don't know. I'm headed to CVS to see if I can pick up some more deals, toilet paper deals this week. And then I'm going to head home and chillax for a little while. But I left water. And this kind of has an aftertaste. So I'm like, mm, I may have to splurge and buy a dollar while water at CVS, which just irks me when I'm there to save money. And I need to go to the post office. But I think I'm going to do that later when I get Maddie because I need Girl Scouts tonight and the dogs have a vet appointment so we are going to divide and conquer. I'm going to take Emmy to Girl Scouts. Andres is taking the dogs to the vet, their vet appointment. Bella for a follow up and Dulce just because we're already going to be there. Um, and then the girls all have follow up appointments tomorrow, all three of them which is awesome also. It's nice to get everyone done at the same time. Quick tip if you shop in bulk at, or not bulk, but you know, you do multiple transactions. I always bring the stuff to the car because my cart is always, it's so tiny and so full, but this was an awesome deal. 
awesome. I paid six dollars in extra care bucks. You can see my total was zero. I got back, I will be getting back three dollars in beauty bucks, and I got 12 back. So I got 15 dollars in extra care bucks, and I only spent six nine dollar money maker. Thank you. Okay, here's my second transaction. You can see, I don't know what the heck she did. She like took off some of my coupons here. You can see not use, not use, not use, and then added in some random ECB. I don't know, I gave her $29 of extra care bucks and I only paid eight cents. So $35 in extra care bucks is what I spent. And then here's what I got back, 10, 20, 25, 27, 33, plus I hit beauty twice, which is $39. And I only gave $35 in extra care bucks and eight cents. So not a bad deal at all. I'm pretty excited about today. I just got done filming a couponing haul that went up on my beauty channel yesterday for you guys, or maybe today, earlier. It would have been up before this vlog, so I will link it down below somewhere. <laughs> and then I will also, <laughs> I will also link the weight loss Monday video somewhere around here as well. Okay, so it's been a little while since I vlogged. I have got so much accomplished today. I'm so excited. We're about to do or start on dinner and then, um, I don't know, Andres may go get Maddie before. We got to get the dogs prepped for the vet and I need to get Emmy. I don't want to say prepped, but I got to get her stuff ready for Girl Scouts. Uh, I volunteered to bring extra. This is plain and it's loud. I volunteered to bring extra flyers and stuff when Bianca asked me if I had flyers I was like girl please I got, I'm the queen of flyers I have coupons coming out of my yin yang here like seriously I have so many extra papers and things like just today I got ads out of the wazoo and so I'm gonna pile all that stuff together and um, grab Emmy's Girl Scout Fest and head on to Girl Scouts I'll probably I'll probably end up taking one of the small girls with me just so on the rest doesn't have to worry about two dogs and two kids. Under normal circumstances, we would take the dogs to the vet during the day or like early in the morning, especially if they have to be dipped or if they're getting groomed. They haven't got groomed in a long time because typically neither one of them have that much fur that in the winter they need it. They already hate going outside and going to the bathroom. Um, but this was more of like a follow up for Autumn and we just happened to throw Dulce in there kind of like tomorrow's visit i think i mentioned this earlier was a follow-up for autumn originally and then i called and threw in maddie and then i realized emmy needed her eight-year checkup and we always do it in january i don't know why i think normally we do it around the fifth or sixth i called to make the appointment and i was like you know what just throw her in there too we'll do all of them at the same day and not worry about it so that's kind of what we did with the dogs but because emmy has girl scouts i really don't want to have to take all three girls but for andres to take the dogs plus the two small girls is going to be a lot and so i probably will end up taking autumn because maddie can walk and he'll have to carry the dogs I don't know, we'll figure it out. But I have been so productive today. I filmed the CVS couponing haul. I also filmed my weight loss Monday, which like I mentioned in this last clip, you should have already seen both of them. I also filmed a like back up off me vlog <laughs> that <laughs> I just had to film. It just, it makes, things like this are just like so over the top. You probably already saw it by now because I was wearing this outfit and I was pretty PO'd. I just, I just have to. I just have to. Because if I don't, who will? Who's going to stand up for me if I don't stand up for myself? You know what I'm saying? So, I just had to. But I've edited two videos so far. I'm going to try and edit or start editing the vlog for tonight before I go. And that's about it. That's all I've got done. The kitchen's clean. I sweat. I ended up mopping the floor because I don't know what the heck Autumn got on the floor. And I'll have to show you what I ended up using because I love my steam mop. But... I didn't feel like putting distilled water in it. It was kind of lazy of me. I didn't feel like putting the water in it. And it didn't have much water left in it. And I didn't feel like plugging it in and waiting for it to heat up. I really just wanted to get the stuff done. So, I'll show you an alternative to mopping up part of the floor. That was super sticky. 
super sticky. I don't know what the heck. I don't know what. I don't know if he was stretchy. I think he's playing with Autumn. But it was super sticky, had dirt all over it, and I couldn't film my couponing haul because my foot kept getting stuck to whatever it was. I think it was juice that got dirt, dried and got dirt on it. I don't know. So I will show you guys when I get downstairs what I did in the meantime. What are you doing? Uh, for dinner? Yeah, that's fine. What are you doing? <laughs> You want to get out? You done playing? Up at one, two, three. Look. Okay. There. Oh, there we go with the stroller. There we go. <laughs> where's your baby? Adam, where'd the baby go? Where's your baby? Go to sissy. Let me see him. Let me see him. Yay! <laughs> oh, you want me to move them? Are they in your way? Okay, let me get them. Just spent the last like two minutes looking for my camera because I was like, oh, I should film while I'm cooking really quickly. And I forgot I had already tried to start filming while I was cooking. And then Autumn was having a cow. She's not really used to the dogs roaming. They're in roaming right now. They just came inside from going potty and she was roaming, which <coughs> she's fine if she's in her playpen and they're roaming, they don't bother her at all. But if she's roaming and they're roaming, she's still trying to get used to them. However, this is why Maddie was never used to them because she always, it was when we had our loft, up, our loft upstairs, if you guys watched back then before, before we even converted it to Autumn's room or anything. Probably when I started vlogging it was like that. It, we used to have a couch, entertainment center, and we had the playpen up there with toys. So Maddie never came in contact with the dogs. Like at all. They never roamed around her when she was playing. They never roamed around her when she was eating because we keep them out while we're eating. Because Autumn is notorious. Look, she's throwing them goldfish on the floor. Don't throw them anything, Autumn. You eat it. <laughs> I don't know why she's like, doesn't like them up in her face when she's walking, but when she's sitting down, she has no problem just tossing the food down on the floor for them. I don't know if she likes watching them eat or what. So Maddie never had that interaction. We were always upstairs with her, always. And I think that's why she was so afraid of them as she got older. And I don't want that for Autumn, not at all. So we're introducing her slowly but surely, but she was running around and so were they and she was not having it. So that's, I. Needless to say, that roundabout story came to the fact that I was like, where's my camera? Open the microwave. I left it in the microwave. <laughs> thank goodness. Well, it didn't have anything else in here, so we wouldn't have turned it on. But thank goodness I saw it because that would have been really jacked up if I couldn't find my camera and then lo and behold, it's in the microwave the whole time. So for dinner, I am doing turkey meatballs, and right now I am just sauteing them up in a pan, which is not typical for me. Typically, I will put pasta sauce in there and let them like boil up and cook that way. But I'm doing it that this way so that way I can separate my meat and then mix the rest with pasta sauce and I'm heating up some or boiling some noodles, um, spaghetti noodles for the girls to have spaghetti meatballs for dinner tonight. And I think for myself, I'm going to do zoodles with the turkey meatballs and maybe pesto. I don't know, the marinara sauce has eight grams of carbs. So I, actually it's not that bad. I guess I could have marinara sauce. I may do pasta, but with zoodles instead of pasta, pasta. And I ate a really late lunch, like around three. So it's 5.39 right now. I'm gonna have them eat when Maddie gets home from school. And then we're gonna go to Girl Scouts. So I'll eat when I get back. Woo, look at all that hard work mommy did on the back of your thing. <laughs> I did those. And those, yes, 
Emmy made an air freshener at Girl Scouts today. So I told her she could freshen the air <laughs> outside. <laughs> smells good. Can I see Good night. Hey, you want to talk about what we're selling right now? Cookies. Yeah. You want to talk about it? <laughs> Mommy, I, I, I want to come with you, Mommy. Well, no, baby, not right now. We're not selling them right now. Oh. It's not like right this second. Sissy's oh. just selling Girl Scout cookies, okay? So You'll get to sell them next year when you're in Girl Scouts. You want to talk about them? So, the main thing about selling cookies is that you have to have enough cookies when and it's mostly fun because Girl Scouts is actually you know it's it's a sport and it's fun of course <laughs> they make it fun but selling cookies it, what's your goal this year how many cookies do you want to sell let me go see my goal you don't remember it I think it was something <laughs> you're the one that wrote it Oh, remember? It was 1,000. Oh. <laughs> you know how many you sold last year? Two bucks. Five hundred something? No, a little higher. Six hundred something? Higher. Eight hundred something? It was like 717, I think is what you sold. So, can you figure out how much more we need? How many more boxes do we need to sell? If you sold 717 last year how many more do we need to sell to hit 1000 do you know you want to go you want to make a okay i'm going to try to do that okay did you figure it out mm -hmm. so it's all right what it is so 100 17 plus equals 1,000. What's so that missing number? It's 293. Two, two no. 293? Was it 82? Oh, it was 80. I got mixed up in the 9 and the 3. <laughs> Change that to an 8. That's how many extra boxes. 200. You worked really hard last year. This year we got to work even harder. 283 more boxes. And that's kind of a lot. It is, but we could do it. Mm -hmm. we, can right? do it. we can do it. I mean, how okay, do, you too. How do, how, do, how do these <laughs> earrings look on me? Pretty big, but they look good. <laughs> Let me go see how they look. <laughs> okay, I'm about to head to bed. We tried to catch up on a few shows. It's not like we're making much of a dent, considering neither one of us really gets to watch TV too often. If I have free time to just watch something, I'm watching Netflix or YouTube videos. Or answering comments or editing or doing Etsy orders like I'm doing one of the above I'm definitely not having time to watch TV shows so needless to say our DVR is very very full I wish I could watch like there is a way to watch we have direct TV you can watch the shows on your phone however they don't let you fast forward so, to me it defeats the purpose. If I wanted to watch the shows live, I would watch them live. But because I DVR them, I really would like to watch them <laughs> without any commercials. But, like I said, you can watch the shows you have recorded, you just can't fast forward them. So, some, somebody should change that. I'm putting away my couponing stuff really quickly before I go to bed just to get it out of the way because if I don't put it away tonight, it won't get put away. Anywho, thank you guys for all of the love and support on today's videos. I was really, really apprehensive about posting the weight loss 
video. Like I said, I will link it down below. I was really, really like... Ooh, I didn't know if I wanted to post it because I talk about a lot of personal things like my current weight and stuff like that and as much criticism as I get on YouTube my weight isn't always a huge huge factor in that but it is a factor and so it just something it was something that I was like debating back and forth but every pretty much every every actually I don't think I've seen a keto channel or weight loss channel or weight loss journey Instagram I don't think I've seen anything that doesn't talk about the current weight how much they've lost um, starting weight measurements things like that so I thought you know as confident of a person as I am that's something that's pretty touchy to me you know it's like very personal and I don't know so <laughs> thank you guys so much for the positive feedback on it all and the support and love and everything that you guys have shown me all today I know you guys aren't watching this until the 9th but the 8th all day I've seen nothing but positivity so anyway I'm going to head to bed I'm gonna put this stuff away first and then hit the sack so I can wake up bright and early tomorrow and do it all over again hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought in the comments below we'll see you tomorrow bye